What is good everybody, Ice Age Beats back in the studio once again. Today we're cooking up a couple different beats today. Probably gonna cook up maybe two or three beats, just depending on how I'm feeling. Different genres, just kind of fill it out. My boy Legacy Beats sent over this new kit, this updated version of the Producer Growth Kit. For you guys that have been following me and watching my YouTube videos, I did this video maybe about a year ago. He sent over this kit to me and now he has an updated version. So we're gonna tap in, we're gonna cook up some beats. Let's hop in the studio and see what's good. All right, let's go ahead and start cooking up some beats. Of course, real quick, if you haven't yet already submitted your question or your answer to the question, what do you want to see next on this YouTube channel? Click the link in the description below, answer the question, and you get entered in for a chance to win the free Razer keyboard. Let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this pack real quick, see what's good, see what they have, or see what Luke has in store and in this producer growth kit. This kit is full of stuff, I can tell you that right now. One thing that catches my eyes immediately is this deluxe one shot library. Let me go ahead and just open this up a little bit. That right there alone is insane. Like all these melodies, all these, I'm sorry, all these one shots that you can use to make melodies. Like that's that's insane to me. I think that's dope. We're definitely gonna use one of these melodies. Um, I'm sure we're gonna use, we're gonna use one of these one shots to make a beat today for sure. Uh, I like the drum library. It's got plenty of drums, 808s, claps, crashes, one shots, snares, hi-hats and there's over hundreds of them, it's crazy. Also, what I really like too is the live guitar library too. So it's a handful of live guitar samples. Ooh, that, that joint's tough, I'm not gonna lie. That's cool, as well as the melody MIDI, which is awesome, and then the melody master, so basically just melodies, loops that we can use to make beats. Come on, and, the, and he's got the stems. There's a lot of stuff here to work with. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this one shot pack, or this one shot library, find something that I want to use. Oh, I like that one. Ooh, that one's tough too. Let's drag them both in. So gotcha piano and okay the pi then piano. But anyways, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and find, uh, let's, let's use some MIDI, some melody MIDI's he's got. Let's just drag one in. That's tough, that's tough. All right, so let's go ahead and add, um, let's see, let's add like a pad or something. Let me go to another pad, or go to the pads chord section of the deluxe one shot library and see what's good. All right, let's see, let's see. I like that one, that's tough. I like to just pick stuff quickly. If I hear something I really like, I just go with it. I don't, I don't overthink it. I definitely think that's a great method to, to go by. Like, it's definitely my motto. If I like it, go with it. Don't even worry about the rest of the, what's in the rest of the pack. You know, if it hits, it hits. All right, so let's go ahead and do, let's just find something in the piano roll uh, from the other previous melody. We can just do the ghost notes and just follow those and do some simple, simple stuff. I want to throw something on the pads. Let's throw like a like drip on the pla on the pads and see um, if I can kind of get a different sound from them. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Ah, it's perfect. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down another melody with the other one shot. Okay, then piano. That is the the one shot right there. It's simple, easy. Let's go ahead and lay down a cool counter melody on the keyboard, and then we can lay some drums down, and this beat will be straight. Let's hear that real quick. Oh, that is tough, that's tough. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, let's get some drums. Let's find some drums in this pack. Guys, this I'm telling you, this beat is about to be stupid. The drum library, so they have drum library and then they, like the one shots, of course. Then they have the drum loop, and then they have drum MIDI too, which is probably flames, honestly. Let's go ahead and do, let's find a snare that's gonna work for this track. Let's see. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. 
do. Yeah, I like 11. So we're gonna do snare 11. I feel like that's a good snare. It's kind of like a perk. Not a perk, it's kind of like a rim shot. So we got that. Let's go ahead and get a hi-hat too. We can just put it all in there now. That way we can just cook it up quick. So let's find a nice hi-hat. And like I said, over 100 hi-hats. That's insane. So let's see. I mean, there's so many to choose from. Like He's like, yo, he's gotta find one that's gonna work. Let's go with that one. I like that. 74. We gotta turn the looping points off though. Cool. Let's find a kick. Let's find a dope kick. Yeah, it's 215. I like that. It's thin. It kind of cuts through everything. Let's go ahead and start laying some stuff down. Let's start with the snares. And uh, we'll just put, we'll just play that every other real quick. Oh yeah, that's hard. So what I'm gonna do is just copy all this over because I want the snare um, loop to be a little longer. So everything else is fine, but I want the snare loop to not be so repetitive. So we're gonna copy and paste this. We're gonna get rid of that second one. And let's see where the last one is gonna be something else, so. Just do a double. I love it. That's it. That's it. Keep it simple, clean. All right. All right. So it's a little latency going on just because I'm recording, but it's cool. I'll, I'll just fix it real quick. I like to play my kicks, sometimes my hi-hats on the keyboard. I feel like it just, you can kind of create your own pattern, your own vibe, clicking it in. I feel like it kind of, I mean, hey, to each his own, but I feel like it kind of ruins the vibe sometimes. So I, I tend to kind of just go on the keyboard and just stab at it until I get what I want, uh, get the loop that I want that's like sitting right in the pockets that, you know, where they need to go and that's it. Actually, might be it. It may not be long enough, but let's see. Nah, that should be fine. So, that is the 808s right there. I kind of added some slides and some stuff. It sounds pretty dope. Uh, let's hear it all together real quick. Hard. That beat right there is tough. It's something different. I, I feel like it's just it's just different, honestly. I, I just wanted to kind of do something a little different today, do a drill joint, but it's, it's just a little different. It's got a vibe to it. I like it. Hope you guys liked that beat. Let's go ahead and do something different. We're gonna do like a lo-fi. Let's just switch it up, do something mad chill, and uh, just kind of show you what the kit is capable of. All right, let's go ahead and start off and go into the kit and start with a cool melody. We're gonna drag in something, something chill. Uh, let's go to the master melody section yeah i like this this is going to be a cool vibe right here for sure e minor that's the key it's got the key and the bpm in there for you which is clutch let's find something that's going to go with that mainly let's just focus on the drums i want to see what kind of drums they have
add that. Let's add like a second snare to it and see what that sounds like. Let's go up. I like that. What I'm gonna do is turn down every other one just to kind of give it more bounce in these snares. All right, so got the shaker in there real quick. I'm just leave this here for now. But yeah, so let's go ahead and throw that in to the mix. So it's kind of like a bass line. It's like a smooth 808. Let's add that in there. I'll do something simple just with E. It is E flat minor, right? Yeah, so you see E. That's kind of simple. Something like a trap type lo-fi joint-ish kind of. So... Hey. That right there is the beats right there. Those are the beats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy the content, of course, as always. Please check out Legacy Beats, his new updated version of the Producer Grow Kit. That is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.